Okay, so I was uh, thinking about how, you know, certain things happen. Where it's like, I, I guess it, it can be kind of associated with people talking about being nice, but whatever. So anyway, you know how like people do something for somebody, right? And then later on, they'll come back and they're like, I want, you know, I want this and that, right? And then, of course, if the person doesn't do that thing for them, then they're like, Basically, like, that person's a bad person, right? They should do that for them, et cetera. So I was thinking about that, and I came up with an example. Now, of course, there's certain things that you can do in this example. So, you know, we're just going to pretend that you can't do those certain things because then it wouldn't fit the actual situation, right? So let's say somebody comes to you and they're like, you've won a car, right? Okay, you got the car, right? They give you the car few months later they decide they want to buy a house but they're three hundred thousand dollars short the car that they gave you was three hundred dollars three hundred thousand dollars so they decide to go to you and be like you owe me three hundred thousand dollars now you said what are you talking about man i never got three hundred thousand dollars for you right like i gave you that car so you're going to sit there and you're going to be like, but you said I won that car. And you'll be like, no, it's it's not fair. It's not right to me. It's only right that if I give you a $300,000 car, you pay me $300,000. What? You see that? That's a business exchange, right? Like, if if you wanted to do business with me, so then you should have came to me up top. And be like, hey, I want to sell you this car. And I would have either been like, I don't want a car. Or I've been like, how much? And then you tell me, oh, it's $300,000. And then from that point, then I can decide, do I want to pay you that much for the car or not? Right? But you told me I won this car. That means you're giving this car to me as a gift. It means I'm not paying you. Right? But what happens in this whole alternate situation that I'm describing is that when that person is like, well, I don't want to pay you back for what you did to me, then what happened? They're an evil. They're a bad person. They're entitled. That's what everybody says. Now get into that car situation. Do you not think that was messed up? Like for you to sit, sit there and say, oh, for them to sit there and say, oh, you won this car and then turn around and be like, oh, you owe me money for this car? What? So then here's my whole thing. So then what do you do at this point, right? For argument's sake, let's say you can't can't get the car back, right? Because then it wouldn't be comparable to the situation. Because when somebody does you a favor, they've already done it in the past. You can't go back in time and give them back the favor. So for example purposes, you can't get back the car. So you can either not pay them for the car, right? And then they go around and talk about, Tell everybody how bad of a person you are and how messed up you are and blah, blah, blah. And it also had this whole attitude where, like, I'll never do anything for you again. You're ungrateful and blah, blah, blah. Right? That, that's what they do. Right? Then you have the whole alternate situation where you could give them $300,000. Now, then the question comes, do you even have the $300,000 in the first place? Probably not. Because if you did have it, chances are they wouldn't have given it to you. You know what I'm saying? Because if you already had it for yourself, they wouldn't have given it to you. At least. And let's just say for example purposes, you don't have it. Because think about it. If somebody does a favor for you, nine times out of ten, it's something that you couldn't have done for yourself. They see that you're struggling, you're going through something, they offer to help, right? Or maybe you might ask for it. I don't know. But anyway... We're trying to stick with the example, not get into all these specific nuances because it could take the rest of my life trying to get into all that different stuff. But anyway, so all right, so you got to pay him back, right? You had no choice but to pay him back. That's the situation that you feel like you're in. Because if you don't, then you're this evil person. And everybody's going to see how evil and ungrateful and tight you are, right? So you're like, all right, I got to pay him back. So to add that $300,000, maybe you got to be homeless and 
you don't have any food. So you gotta eat out of trash cans because you're giving them that money. Maybe that's the situation. Maybe it's like you just give give them what you got. But what happens in those situations? The person always keep bringing up, oh, I did this for you. I did that for you. And they bring that shit up for the rest of your life. It doesn't matter if you never pay that three, you never make enough money to ever pay that $300,000 back. Or if at the end of your life, you end up paying them $3 billion. They still going to bring that shit up until the day that you die. That's what always happens. And that's why people don't like being in them situations. Don't like taking gifts from people and stuff like that. And then, of course, if you had that whole attitude and people would be like, you know, you're insecure and blah, blah, blah. And then it's like, well, look, there's some people in this world who genuinely, when they give you something, they're giving it to you. But then there's also other people who take that and they use it as leverage to be like, well, you have to give me this because I did that for you. And people hate that because that's a transaction. If you're going to do a transaction with somebody, you have to let them know off top so they can know if they want to give that to you. So they can know if they can afford to give that to you. So they can make that decision. Nobody likes when you trap them in a corner. You force them into a position where it's like you have to pay me something and you had no choice. Nobody likes that. They want to have the option to be like, all right, do I want to pay them? Do I not? It's a simple concept. But because of the way that society looks at things and how they view things and because of the situation specifically, then it all turns into, oh, the other person being selfish and entitled and how bad of a person they are. And you see how things change so much based off of perspective. So many situations where you're pointing at somebody and calling them ungrateful or entitled or whatever other bad things you can say about them. If you looked at things from their shoes, you could be the bad person. But from your perspective, you doing everything right. That's only fair. That's only the way that, you know, you should be treated. But you're not thinking about what position they're in and how they feel and how you never gave them the option to say no. You never gave them a choice, the chance to decide, do I want to do this or not? You just did something nice for them. And then, and it's not even always, now there are situations where people are manipulative and they do stuff intentionally because, you know, they want to have strings over you, turn you into their puppet. But I'm going to guess the majority of the time it's not like that in the moment they wanted to do something nice. But then later on, they wanted something or maybe needed something and they decided, well, I did something for you so you can do something back for me because they don't want to be in that position of begging or asking people stuff. So because of their whole ego, they'd rather be in that position where, you know, they have more the power and they're like, oh, well, you owe me this. So you got to do that for me. Maybe that's the situation. Could be wrong. I don't know. But, yeah, regardless, it's just sometimes it's not even planned at that moment that they do something for you. And then later on, they just want something. It's all perspective.